Anatomical Terms of Neuroanatomy, Wikipedia Article Audio This article describes anatomical terminology that is used to describe the central and peripheral nervous systems, including the brain, brainstem, spinal cord, and nerves. Neuroanatomy, like other aspects of anatomy, uses specific terminology to describe anatomical structures. This terminology helps ensure that a structure is described accurately, with minimal ambiguity. Terms also help ensure that structures are described consistently, depending on their structure or function. Terms are often derived from Latin and Greek, and like other areas of anatomy are generally standardized based on internationally accepted lexicons such as Terminologia Anatomica. Anatomical Terminology in Neuroanatomy Location To help with consistency, humans and other species are assumed when described to be in standard anatomical position, with the body standing erect and facing observer, arms at sides, palms forward. Anatomical terms of location depend on the location and species that is being described. To understand the terms used for anatomical localization, consider an animal with a straight CNS, such as a fish or a lizard. In such animals the terms rostral, caudal, ventral, and dorsal mean respectively towards the rostrum, towards the tail, towards the belly and towards the back. For a full discussion of those terms, see anatomical terms of location. For many purposes of anatomical description, positions and directions are relative to the standard anatomical planes and axes. Such reference to the anatomical planes and axes is called the stereotactic approach. Standard terms used throughout anatomy include anterior-slash-posterior for the front and back of a structure, superior-slash-inferior for above and below, medial-slash-lateral for structures close to and away from the midline respectively, and proximal-slash-distal for structures close to and far away from a set point. Planes and Axes some terms are used more commonly in neuroanatomy, particularly Standard anatomical planes and anatomical axes are used to describe structures in animals. In humans and most other primates the axis of the central nervous system is not straight, but bent. This means that there are certain major differences that reflect the distortion of the brains of the hominidae. For example, to describe the human brain, rostral still means towards the face, or at any rate, the interior of the cranial cavity just behind the face. However, in the brain caudal means not towards the tail, but towards the back of the cranial cavity. Alternative terms for this rostrocaudal axis of the brain include medial or anteroposterior axis. Nerves Dorsal means in the direction away from the spinal cord i.e. in the direction of the roof of the cranial cavity. Ventral means downwards towards floor of the cranial cavity and thence to the body. They lie on the superior inferior or dorsoventral axis. The third axis passes through the ears, and is called the left-right, or lateral axis. These three axes of the human brain match the three planes within which they lie, even though the terms for the planes have not been changed from the terms for the bodily planes. The most commonly used reference planes are Specific terms are used for peripheral nerves that originate from, or arrive at, a specific point. Function an afferent nerve fiber is a fiber originating at the present point. For example, a striatal afferent is an afferent originating at the striatum. Root An efferent nerve fiber is one that arrives at the present point. For example, 
a cortical efferent is a fiber coming from somewhere else, and arriving to the cortex. Note that that is the opposite of the direction in which the nerve fiber conducts signals. Brain Specific terms are also used to describe the root of a nerve or nerve fiber. A chiasm is used to describe an X-shaped crossing of nerve fibers between the cerebral hemispheres. The major example in the human brain is the optic chiasm. The main difference between such a chiasm and a decussation is that not all nerve fibers entering the chiasm cross over. Imaging A commissure is a group of nerve fibers crossing the sagittal plane mainly parallel to the lateral axis and therefore without forming a cross shape. For example, nerve fiber tracts that cross between the two cerebral hemispheres, are the anterior commissure, posterior commissure, corpus callosum, hippocampal commissure, and habenula commissure. The spinal cord contains a commissure as well, the anterior white commissure. A decussation is where nerve fibers cross from one side of the brain to the other. The brain stem from the front, showing a decussation of the superior pedicle and lemniscus where nerve fibers from one side cross over to the next. The optic chiasm in the human brain, showing pathways conveying information from the visual field of each eye to the contralateral visual cortex. Specific terms are used to represent the gross anatomy of the brain. A gyrus is an outward folding of the brain, for example the precentral gyrus. A sulcus is an inward fold, or valley in the brain's surface, for example the central sulcus. Additional terms used to describe these may include. A fissure is used to describe. Rostral, cranial, and caudal, used to describe structures close to the face, brain, and close to the end of the spine, dorsal and ventral, pertaining to the back or upper side depending on context. In most vertebrates with a horizontal backbone dorsal means the back, is in, for example horseback, however, in the human brain dorsal means upwards towards the top of the head or cranium, and away from the spinal cord where it exits the skull at the foramen magnum in the occipital bone, contralateral and ipsilateral referring to a corresponding position on the opposite left or right side and on the same side respectively. Axial, the plane that is horizontal and parallel to the axial plane of the body in the standard anatomical position. It contains the lateral and the medial axes of the brain, coronal, a vertical plane that passes through both ears, and contains the lateral and dorsoventral axes, sagittal, a vertical plane that passes from between the nostrils, and between the cerebral hemispheres, dividing the brain into left and right halves. It contains the dorsoventral and medial axes of the brain. A parasagittal plane is any plane parallel to the sagittal plane. Anectant gyrus for a small gyrus hidden in the depth of a sulcus, sulcal fundus, for the bottom of a sulcus, an inward fold.